Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu friends welcome back to my channel in this video we will discuss how we can prepare this TNC connector threaded similar to BNC connector but its outer shell have threads so it is RF connector and we will use this coaxial cable and I will share the easiest way how we can prepare this if you want to prepare a connector we have to go to data sheet for that part number we can find complete measurements for example one centimeter cut from here two centimeter leaf from here but no I will use a very generic way very useful way by adopting this method we can prepare any connector even it is small even it is long this TNC connector connector body our housing then we have a mail pin ferrule coaxial cable if we have coaxial stripper or we can use a very simple tools to prepare a connector let's start first of all when we have any coaxial cable approximately 2 cm or 1 inch cut it remove one inch piece approximately one inch piece so that there should no corrosion because when it is open-ended the last end of the cable maybe sometime it have oxides it have corrosion so remove this approximately one inch or two or three centimeter for safety then we have to take a piece of wire any take any wire insert this female pin insert this wire in this female pin now insert this pin in the body in the connector housing and place it exactly to its fitting now while pressing it cut it from this point now we have this measurement it is a very best way if we don't have vernier caliper to make measurements or anything it is very simple way for making a connector take steel foot roll and take measurement 4 mark it on the scale 4 and 6 now we have two measurements portion of this wire will enter in this end from this point to this point it will remain in the back shell so let's make marking on the cable up 2.6 if you have coaxial stripper we can use that or use a knife slightly give a slight cut to remove outer insulation remove it now insert this ferruler it is here slightly push the shielding back side and now we have to cut these two points one and two make marking at this point two digits uh, any wire stripper
now we can crimp it if we have crimping tool uh, we can solder now we can see it is exactly fit in the pin nothing is outside okay now we have to insert it in the connector and we have to push it until the pin will reach at its place now bring this shielding on the back shell Now we have to press this ferrule on the shielding and the connector back shell. Just press it here. The pin must be in line with the shell. It should not be pressed in. Now we can use this back shell crimping tool and we have to use Y219 die set. It is Daniel tools from Y219 in the press number A, the leftmost, we will press it, we will crimp it, place it here and now press it. Now the back shell is crimped very nicely, now the cable is locked and our connector is ready. And finally, we can check it, set multimeter to continuity, set to outer shell, it should not short with inner, so it's good. Let's check with the other side, shield with shield. and signal wire with signal wire so both both inners should continuity should give continuity with the inner and it should not give continuity with outer so we crimped this connector very nicely i hope so this video is informative if it is informative give a thumb up if you have not subscribed my channel subscribe it if you want to watch my videos in future you can press bell icon button. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.